hey collective hey welcome back guys welcome back shout out to the entire youtube fam shout out to everyone that has donated guys thank you okay um shout out to everyone that has purchased merch thank you guys okay if you would like to check out mystic sets guys uh the link is in the description below okay Let's see. Give me some messages for the collective. That wanted to come out, didn't it? Here we go, we got direction, okay? Wow, I think this is the same card that came out in one of the last recent readings. Uh, again, direction is here. So I feel like the Holy Spirit is being clear because we just saw this from this same deck for the collective, okay? Uh, I feel like with direction here, collective, uh, the trajectory of your path have shift okay or it is about to shift and i'm seeing discipline at the bottom okay i feel like this shift this elevation uh collective this season will require a new level of discipline for you okay this is gonna require a new level of discipline for you i'm also picking up uncharted territory some of you guys are coming out your comfort zone I'm going to take the one off top, okay? Deep knowing. We're seeing deep knowing. So this is high priestess energy. I'm also seeing discipline again at the bottom, okay? Again, this elevation collective is going to require uh, another, an, uh, uh, another type of discipline here. You guys are high priestess. You are prophets and prophetess. You are seers. You are dreamers here with deep knowing. I feel like so your intuition is telling you something. You're receiving downloads from the divine. It's like you know things, you you know hidden secrets collective. Uh there there are hidden things that you know, okay? And it's something about your tra trajectory, it's something about your path uh that you have some sort of deep knowing about collective. Some of you need to work on your sacral chakra. All right, we're seeing expression, okay? Wow, but guess what's at the bottom, guys? Discipline is here again. Holy Spirit is being clear. There's a new level of discipline that is gonna be required collective. But it's kind of like I'm picking up obedience is better than sacrifice because uh, trust is here. Trust is underneath discipline. It's like you need to just, you know what I'm saying? Trust, trust in your inner knowing at this time. Um, I feel like if your throat chakra could have been blocked, there could have been some sort of blockages in your chakras. Yeah, because we're seeing sacral chakra and then we're seeing throat chakra here uh, with the expression. I feel like now is a great time for you to communicate. Any blockages around your throat chakra uh, have been removed. I'm also picking up, this is why this uh, elevation is going to require more discipline because you are tapping into your spiritual gifts. You are tapping into your spiritual gifts collective. So it's like there is a lot of divine information you're going to receive. There is a lot of uh, uh, divine intelligence collective, a lot of downloads. 
that you will receive. So again, it's kind of like you're definitely going to have to be disciplined to some degree. Wow, this came right over initiation. Holy Spirit is being clear. Uh, there's another initiation that is taking place because I feel like this is not your first one collective. Um, again, an initiation is, is almost like an awakening, okay? I'm, I'm also seeing consciousness here at the bottom. It's like almost, again, like... Um, your frequency, the, the vibration that you are on is rising at this time, or you're being called to raise your vibration at this time. Because again, you're being elevated in the spiritual realm with initiation here. It's kind of like, think about it. When you think about secret societies, when you think about the Masons, when you think about, you know, Illuminati, when you think about these things, right? What is the first thing that you usually hear people say? You usually hear people talk about a ritual or an initiation that has to take place, right? In order for you to become a part of this organization or in order for you to move up. So it's like, yeah, in the spiritual realm, you are elevating here. Again, you are tapping into your spiritual gifts this season collective. For some of y'all, it's like, God has literally woke you up with consciousness here. You literally woke, okay? You are literally woke at this time, collective. Wow. This is dope, guys. Let's, um, let me see. What do I want to use to come behind this energy? Like, this hard to come behind. I think I use this deck. All right, let's see. Wow. For some of you guys, I feel like there could have been a time period where you couldn't express yourself. Again, there was some sort of blockage in your throat chakra. Hold on, a couple of these are flipped over. Give me some more messages for the collective. All right, we're seeing Lumen Essence here, okay? Lumen Essence. Uh, wow, with Manifestia here. You're manifesting something at this time, collective. You are manifesting, uh, or I feel like you've manifested this season that you are walking into. Something is blossoming here. Something is blossoming. I'm also picking up, it's something about your aura. It's something about your energy at this time, collective. Uh, it's very magnetic is what I'm hearing. I'm also picking up because it's kind of like with this lumen essence here. This is like... This is like you, your light, you know what I'm saying? Drive out the darkness, right? So it's like light shining in darkness. You are light shining uh, in darkness collective. Wow, this is dope. I'm also picking up something about authenticity. Something about you is very, very authentic collective. Uh, somebody could be a path life number eight. Yeah, we're saying alignment. You are you are you you have come into a divine alignment. Now you can see the full spectrum here collective. You can see the full spectrum. Do you see the chakras in this photo in this full spectrum uh photo? All of the chakras are lit. You are in divine alignment collective. Again, you are shining brightly at this time. You might be getting a lot of compliments right now, like, or you might just be attracting a lot of people at this time. Your energy is sending like 
your ender, your energy, you vibrate and listen. What did I say? You woke right now. You vibrating at such a high frequency. It's like your energy sends out frequencies, energetic waves, right? Again, you you attracting a lot of things right now. I feel like you somebody who attract a lot of people or you somebody when you go to a business, when you go to an establishment, it can be nobody there. And then all of a sudden, as soon as you get there, like all they, they get flooded, they get in swamp with business. You might attract business to people. Again, your light is shining, is is yeah, is 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 driving out the darkness. Our ancient future is here. And you see it's falling on uh, initiation. Wow, this is dope. It's falling on initiation. You are the future collective. I feel like there is a lot of uh, ancient wisdom, a lot of ancient knowledge, uh, a lot of ancient intelligence that lies deep within you. But it is going to take for you to go within. It's going to take for you to reach a higher level of consciousness. This is why uh, discipline is very important at this time. This is why there's, yeah, another level of discipline that is required of you at this time, collective. Because it's like, it's, it's information in you that has to get out. It's time to put this information out. Whoever you are, this is not your first initiation, Let me see. Wow, this is dope, guys. Let's um let's get another deck. But how, what am I going to use? Um Hold on, let me grab this. Yeah, I'll use this one. Yeah, this is not your first uh initiation. Uh, collective this is not your first awakening this is not your first uh incarnation you are being again the initiation this is like a dna upgrade an energetic upgrade an awakening that is taking place within you your dna is being activated at this time collective your DNA is being activated. Look at this photo. Look at this photo. Do you see like where her hands are? That those are like DNA, uh, you know, that's floating above the palm of her hands, okay? Your DNA is being activated. It's meant for you to share this knowledge. Our ancient future is lying on expression. It's meant for you to, to share this knowledge. Again, this is why uh, there's going to be another level of discipline that is required of you in this season, Collective, because it's time for this information to get put out. There is ancient knowledge that is in you. That is information that, that has to get put out, Collective. For some of you, you're going to change like systems, or you have like, you're going to implement new systems or ways of doing things um, like the Dewey Decimal System. You know what I'm saying? Like something like that. You're going to implement something. There is something you're going to create for the future. Yeah, we're seeing Celestial Gatekeeper timing uh, is critical. The Holy Spirit is being clear. This card clearly says timing is critical. What am I now stressing? This information has to get put out. This is why there is uh, another level of discipline again required because timing is critical collective. It's kind of like um, you are a messenger is what I'm hearing. Divine will is here. You are a messenger, uh, collective. 
between the earthly realm and the spiritual realm. Yeah, you're going through this spiritual evolution at this time. Again, you are raising your frequency. I'm seeing expansion here. Educate your mind and senses. Some of you might be called to, to do more studying or um, do more research on something. We're seeing galactic healer move forward with an open mind, okay? So uh, again, galactic healer, I'm seeing energy signature. It's something about your energy collective that's healing. It's something about your energy collective that is healing. What did I say with this lumen essence here? It's kind of like your energy is, is sending off uh, waves and uh, frequencies, right? And it's like you are attracting people. You attract, you, you attract a lot of different energies. So I feel like you could definitely be an empath collective. You, you know, like um, what I like to say, an empath. It's like you, you a sponge. You absorb a lot of energy. Wow, this is dope, guys. Let's get one more, and I'm going to close out this reading. Give me one more card for the collective. Give me one more card. All right. Wow, yeah. I'm not surprised this came out. Light codes. Travel awaits you, and guess what's at the bottom? Astral travel. Some of you guys can literally, you, you have the ability to astral travel uh, whether you know it or not. You have the ability to astral travel collective, whether you know it or not. Some of you guys might be already projecting. You might already be doing this and not aware uh, that you are even doing this collective. It's kind of like, how, how can I explain it? It's kind of like you literally being a fly on the wall, if that makes sense, okay? <laughs> If that makes sense, okay? But it's like there is a mission that you are on. And what did I say? You you going through a DNA upgrade again. Light code activation uh, is taking place inside of you. So for you have some sort of humanitarian effort here on earth. You have like you helping the planet is, is, is like your focus at this time. Or again, yeah, you helping the planet is you producing this knowledge that lie within you. I'm also picking up, it's kind of like, yeah, you raising your consciousness. Now you have the ability to access the realm of light language here with light codes. This is why, thank you, Holy Spirit, uh, discipline, okay? There is a new level of discipline collective that is required of you at this time. There is a major spiritual evolution that is taking place. This is dope. Yeah, it's like, again, revolutionizing outdated processes. Uh, you might be receiving innovative ideas at this time, collective with light codes here. Like you, you could be on some sort of creative pursuit. I said it. You could be creating some new system. I said the Dewey, de like the Dewey Decimal System, right? So it's kind of like you supposed to use your talents, right? And, and share your passion to inspire others, to awaken other people to their gifts, okay? So it's kind of like the way you do this is by you walking in your purpose. You doing what you are led to do. Again, which is uh, at this time to raise your consciousness, to, to, to allow this ancient DNA to be activated, to be awakened in you because there is some information that you're supposed to be putting out. It's kind of like you supposed to save the planet. <laughs> I know it's like you can't really save the... I'm not even going to say you can't really save the planet. For somebody, you literally might save the planet with something that you create. Again, light language is kind of like a universal way of uh, communicating. You know what I'm saying? Because again, speech, right? Let's talk about this for a minute. Speech was not the first... Uh, language. Talking was not the first language. Let's be clear. Okay, so everybody know about King, right? So if you know, if you've been following me for a while, um, so King is nonverbal for the most part, okay? 
So again, but it's kind of like he a regular child to me because there are other ways that he could that that we communicate you know what i'm saying so we have our own system our own way of communicating with not with one another speech is not the only way you know what i'm saying of of communication this is just how society uh has has uh you know kind of made speech to be uh the 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 spoken language you know what i'm saying so basically back to this is kind of like you might discover a new symbol. You might incorporate some sort of tone or gesture. You know what I'm saying? Something like that collective. It's kind of like you have access to uh, the celestial realm at this time with celestial gatekeeper here. Okay, this is to uh, for you to get insight, for you to tap into your personal power, this sacral chakra here. This is dope, guys. This is dope. I'm glad I actually pulled. Um, I'm glad I, I I used this deck and these cards came out because what a dope way to close the reading. And don't forget, we're seeing, again, astral realms uh, here at the bottom, okay? So for some of you guys, you having like out of body experiences or it's like you have the ability, you gonna have some sort of out of body uh experience okay it's like again what did i say like you being a fly on the wall you have the ability to kind of observe like your 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 surrounding if that makes sense comment down below who's had an out-of-body experience who have the ability to astral travel this uh, you astral traveling co collective this like um this gives you the ability to observe something, to be an observer, okay? To uh, witness a surrounding um, or, or be in an environment, for example. I know that I had one, one time. I can only think of one time, but I remember it was almost like, again, being a fly on the wall. I just remember it was these two guys and they were talking about my music and they was just saying like, we need to get her kind of linked up with the right person, like her energy different. Some about her energy that they, they were stressing in the, in what, in, in that, what I thought was a dream, you know, something about her energy, something about her energy, but it's kind of like when I woke up, you know what I'm saying? It was just, that experience was different. It didn't feel like a dream. I it literally, I felt like, because I wasn't in the dream. I wasn't a part of the dream. So again, collective, it's like some of you, you've had this same experience where you saw something, you witnessed something, you observed something, but you was not a part of that, of the vision. You, you just saw it. Okay. So it's kind of like, For some of you, it's kind of like you need to be aware of your surroundings. You know what I'm saying? It's like pay attention to every aspect of communication that you are receiving at this time. You might, certain information, it might not be meant for you to tell. You might need to keep that information quiet. Because again, what did I say? Some of you guys are high priestess here with deep knowing. A true high priestess uh, know when to speak and know when not to speak. A true high priestess uh, know what to share and what not to share, okay? So it's, it's, it's like you gonna know what to share and you gonna know what not to share, okay? Again, pay attention to your surroundings collective and make sure uh, you protect your energy uh, at all times. Um, wow, this is, this is a dope reading right here for somebody. It's kind of like you, you aiming for the stars, you shooting for the stars. Galactic healer is here. You are, um, a child of the cosmos. Okay. So I hope this message resonated guys. I hope this encouraged somebody, you know what I'm saying? I hope it, uh, was informative collective. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe. If you have not subscribed guys, thank you guys for watching.